Hi there, this is Sawmin and you're watching the Genesis YouTube channel. Today we'll be doing a question from the Jan Kalda list of Olympiad problems. In this problem, the end of a light wire rod is bent into a hoop of radius r. The straight part of the rod has a length L. A ball of mass M is attached to the other end of the rod as shown in the figure. The pendulum thus formed is hung by the hoop onto a revolving shaft. The sense of rotation of the shaft is shown in the figure. The coefficient of friction between the shaft and the hoop is mu. Find the equilibrium angle between the rod and the vertical. I suggest you pause the video and try to do this on your own. This is not a very difficult question. It does not involve a long solution. But it is quite tricky in terms of the configuration of forces and the final equilibrium configuration of the hoop and the rod system that it will finally take on. So think a little bit on what should be the configuration of the forces, what should be the final configuration. Finding that configuration is 99% of the problem solved straight away. This is the answer to the question. We now go ahead with the solution. Now this figure shows the equilibrium orientation of the hoop. Now why is this the equilibrium orientation? Now the first thing to understand is that the friction acting on the hoop is going to be kinetic. This is because the shaft is rotating against the hoop. So the friction is definitely kinetic. Now, this means the angle between the net contact force and the normal force is going to be the angle of friction. This lambda is the angle of friction. And since the only force it has to balance is mg, which is vertical, this net contact force must also be vertical. Secondly, both C and Mg must lie on the same side of the vertical through the center of the hoop. They should either lie on this side or both should lie on this side. This is so that their torques have opposite senses. Otherwise, the torques are not going to cancel out. Now, notice that here for translational equilibrium, C and Mg must be the same. That is, we must have C is equal to Mg. Now, since these two forces are same, their force arms for the torque should be the same, which means C and Mg should lie on the same vertical line. This is the key to solving this problem. I repeat again, C and Mg should lie on the same vertical line. Only then their perpendicular distance to the center of the hoop is going to be the same. Thereby, their torques are going to be the same. Once you realize this, you immediately see that a triangle is formed like this. And remembering the definition of angle of friction, which is you can also see from this diagram also, lambda is tan inverse mu. And now in the shaded triangle, you can apply sine rule and you can immediately see that sine theta will be equal to r sine lambda by r plus l. If you apply sine rule, sin theta by opposite side which is r so sin theta by r will be equal to sin lambda divided by the opposite side which is this full length which is r plus l now since we know tan lambda we can find out sin lambda and that is straight away going to give you the answer so this is how you proceed geometrically in this you can also equate torque so when you equate torque, you realize that this component of the contact force, the normal is not going to give any torque. So the torque of mu n and the torque of mg, these two about this point should be equal. Hence, if you write the torque equation, you can immediately see mg sine theta into r plus l. This is the torque of mg. I trust you can work it out. Is equal to mu n into r. Now also, 
the vector sum of n and mu n is c so n root over of mu square plus 1 is c which is equal to mg this gives you the value of n find the value of n substitute here and you will get this answer either of the ways you will get the same answer now notice that this is not a very difficult question but you have to think a lot in this what always try to visualize the forces and what they are doing their lines of action that is basically be very clear about the geometry of the situation i hope you like this problem this problem is one of the problems in the jan kalda list of problems the link for that is given below i'll be solving quite a few more questions from the jan kalda list very shortly if you benefited from this video like subscribe and share widely amongst your friends and as always, till the next time, stay safe and stay healthy you all.